There are mixed reaction to Odisha's tax measures to fulfill the government's $1.5 million tax break promise. Political analyst Kevin O'Brien Chang says while he supports most of the tax measures, he's still unclear how employees earning under $600,000 will benefit. Overall, I would say yes. I would give overall 7 out of 10 for the whole thing. Um, it, it's good and bad, but probably more good than bad. You know, um, he has kind of reneged on the promise. It's not 1.5. They promised April 1st, 1.5. Well, it's July 1st, and it's only 1 million. But then again, more people get the million. Before it was only those 1.500. Now everybody gets the million. And then they say 500,000 next year. I'm not so sure I'm convinced about the numbers for next year, but let's just deal with this year. Um, they're going to fund it with gas taxes, basically, if you will, tax airport tax and cigarette tax. Um, cigarette tax, no problem. In fact, share tax it even more. You know, um, the airport tax, I guess, I might have some slight knock-on effects with tourism and all that, but let's face it, they can fly on a plane, $15 US is not that much. The gas tax will have some knock-on effects of, you know, raise electricity prices, raise gas station prices. But then oil has come down so much from $120 a barrel a couple years ago to $40 now. There's a lot of leeway. So I have no problem with them putting a gas tax on. In fact, Obama did a similar thing in the U.S. to, to stop excess consumption. The people who are going to suffer, though, are those are under 600000 They're not getting any break um, from the increased threshold. They're going to face slightly higher electricity bills, slightly higher tax fares and stuff. So the government should going to have to find some way to alleviate the, the pressure on these, on these people under 600,000, and those, of course, who don't pay, pay EYE. So, as I say, good and bad, more good and bad, but not perfect. Financial analyst Dr. Andre Horton commends Mr. Shaw for listening to economists and the private sector of Jamaica PSOJ, who suggested that the tax break be implemented in two phases. Everyone has been anticipating this income tax threshold at 1.5. Uh, the, 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 the way how it was originally proposed, we knew it, it could not work in that fashion. Uh, so we, we advised against it because of, of what bunching that would occur. Now, Mr. Shaw has taken the advice of, of, of myself and other economists in terms of administering the package. Uh, not different thresholds, but the same threshold across the board. Also, the, 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 the progressive nature of, of the, the, the package, meaning that people over 6 million will be paying 27% uh, 20, tax as opposed to 25 for everyone else is a, is a move in the right direction. Uh, the, the import duty and the cigarette revenue measures are also good. However, Dr. Horton argues that the decision to increase the SCT on petrol and liquefied natural gas LNG was not a good idea. He says that this may increase the cost of electricity and tax affairs. Dr. Horton says manufacturers could also be at a disadvantage. The, the increase in gas and LNG uh, the, in, in SCT, special consumption tax, we've seen where as soon as this morning when, when expectations are set in, uh, taxi, taxi operators are asking for a 50% increase. Uh, restaurant op operators now are in a state of frenzy because they think their cost of production is going to increase because of this gas tax. Manufacturers who have worked so hard to get the cost of electricity down over the last two years, albeit the help of a fall in, in global oil prices, are now frantic because they who have been struggling to, to, to get any marginal on, in, in, in their, their profits uh, are, are now in, in, a, in, a, in a state of, 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 of panic. Because if you are trying to increase production, uh, the, the onus is therefore to make the input into the production process more uh, cheaper, are, are, are more accessible to everyone. So if, if you are increasing tax on, on, on heavy, heavy, heavy fuel or whatever the, the, the name is that manufacturer uses, then ultimately are increasing the cost of their production process. And by increasing the cost of their 
production process, it means that it, it will limit the amount that the country can produce. I was trying to defend it by saying that maybe the, the oil, the, 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 the petroleum corporations might absorb the increase in tax and not pass it on to consumers, but I'm, I'm, I'm seeing where the expectations is now having that sort of impact where consumers will face the burden uh, irrespective of what we think.